Hello, lovely people. Welcome back to Focus Hive. Username A Try posted a question which which says, "Awesome video, thank you so much." Did not know all these features. Pleasure. How can you export OneNote book into Google Keep with all the formatting? I don't know. Uh, I don't think Google allows that nor will it allow other way around. Will you please help us with that? Thanks, Ravi's Focus Hive. Well, thank you so much for asking this question. First of all, you kind of considered us uh, someone who could uh, give an answer, give a, give a response to this. And uh, that kind of motivated me to make this video. And uh, here I am. So as I publish this video, I will try and answer this question, whether you can import your book from OneNote to Google Keep. Now, there are, uh, I went through Google's support site and looked at some of the articles that they have. So a straightforward answer or a straightforward feature, which is basically you click on an import button and import OneNote, there are features that are being worked on. So I will post a link in the description where you, you can go in and pretty much upvote it so that Google's team can go back and uh, review as and when their roadmap review comes in and they can look at if that uh, feature is going to help them. If it comes, a straightforward way comes out will be massive for everybody. I'm, I, I can see that a lot of people are asking this for this feature. It is going to be very, very helpful. Now, there is a hackish way We'll look at that. But I, before I kind of get into the method that I kind of learned through the way, uh, which I, I'm going to share with you definitely. But before that, let's look at the use case, right? Google Keep in my video that I have done, it I've kind of pretty much compared Google Keep and OneNote together. And Google Keep to me, it's my personal view, is more of quick notes taking. Right, you're on the go. You want to note something. You you make a note. Uh, you do a voice note. You take a picture and instantly make some comments. Uh, you're reading a book, maybe a, a PDF or or anything that you're reading on your computer or on your phone. You want to quickly mark up and take a note of it. You will be able to do it using Google Keep. That's massively easy. It's it's amazingly easy. You can simply use Google Keep for these factors. Now, when when it comes to Microsoft OneNote, let me be frank. I'm I'm a big fan of both these tools. I heavily use Microsoft OneNote, and then I heavily use Google Keep as well. But for me, Google Keep is more of a quick notes quick reminders that I want to kind of quickly note down somewhere and I could easily access them. For my OneNote, uh, what I do is if I, it's more, I use it more for brainstorming, for my article writing or for more of, more, more of idea churning. And it can, and then it is in a very organized manner, which is pretty much you have your book, you have your pages, you have your sections and so on and forth. So it's, it's neatly hierarchical manner. It is arranged and a real world scenario would be like a diary. So if you have a handheld diary, a physical diary, you keep writing on it. So you have pages, books, paragraphs, whatever you make it. Similar replication is done on Microsoft's OneNote. So making a note on Microsoft OneNote takes a little bit of effort. Taking a note on Google Keep, easy. Now that's, now once we have differentiated the use case a little bit between these two applications, though they both are notes taking application. But if you want to quickly take fast notes, Google Keep. If if you want to take organize, you want to write it, you want to share, you have got good amount of time, you're on your desktop, on your laptop, you're making notes, you're making your writing stories, like so one note. And that is why I feel that it's it's I would not migrate my information or my, my notes, my pages from OneNote to Google Keep. And uh, time will tell as Google would bring in this feature, then maybe one day everybody will start migrating it. But for now, uh, that's what my thought process is. But having said, 
let's just go and look at how we can transfer the information that we have on Microsoft OneNote to Google Keep. Over to that now. So, well, now this is my OneNote where I have my note, my, my pages, my sections, uh, and all of that. And let's, uh, under articles, I had a de delegation. I had an article written on delegation. This is where I kind of uh, jotted down everything and then published it on the web. So I have it here where I have this uh, title, paragraph with bullets and whatnot, right? So the first thing would be either I export the section or I export the notebook or I just export the page. It depends on me what I want to do. So I will show you by exporting the page. So I am on the page. Delegation is the page. I go to file and I say save as PDF. Now there's an option called share. And in, in here, you could invite people to work on it. And uh, you could invite a Google user to try. I've not really tried it, didn't get enough opportunity to test it out. I may test it out and, and come back with another video where it where I could show what it does. But for now, the step that I've done is save it as a PDF. So I would do that. Let me put it in my desktop, save it as a, a PDF called delegation.pdf. All right, done. So let me open it. Delegation. Delegation. All right, so. PDF is exported. Now, what we have to do is we have to pretty much go in our drive and upload it. So I'll go to drive and I'll upload my PDF. All right, done, done, done. Oopsie. Let's refresh the page. Mm -hmm. So it's here. Let's open with Google Doc. Now, while it's opening, I just wanted to make sure that uh, you have clarity that uh, before you open it in Google Drive, you need to be very sure that you're logged in with the right account on your Google Drive as well as your Google Keep. So that way it will help. So now your OneNote is imported as a Google Doc, right? Uh, the story doesn't end here. So now in here, because Google Doc and Google Keep out of the same family, they make it easy for each other, but not from Microsoft. So what we're gonna do is we, let's say we want everything, just select everything, right click on it, and then click on save to keep, right? It is, done now now you basically go to your keep and you would see that note is added in google keep so let's open it so the image comes in the top and then your stuff or the text is listed here please excuse me for all the red lines but this is how you would import your Microsoft OneNote into Google Keep. This is a very crude way. I would never do it because I am losing a lot of formatting. Uh, bullets are coming in, but a lot of formatting is going away. So I'd, I'd still stick with my Microsoft OneNote uh, for my nicely formatted articles that I've written. 
so that they are there. And I'll continue to use Google Keep for my quick notes, voice notes, photographs on the way I'm going. I'll take a photograph, make a note, right? Those kind of stuff. One of the awesome features that Google Keep is you take a photo, it pretty much translates whatever text is written on it. It'll translate that into text. So those are some cool features. I hope you still want to use Google Keep, but... Uh, Let's let's hope and pray. I have upvoted the feature. I'm going to share it, the link in the description. Once again, please go ahead and uh, upvote for the feature. And at the same time, please go ahead and uh, like, subscribe my videos, my channel. Uh, I'm, I'm doing it for you guys. Thank you so much and uh, see you soon.